So from the lowest level of viruses cheat, <laughs> bacteria cheat, and the genes cheat, the chromosome cheat, cells cheat, <laughs> and all the way to plants, <laughs> you know, uh, the, the organisms brainless uh, to the most sophistic, uh, sophisticated animals such as uh, whales, dolphins, and the humans, of course, and the primates and the humans, yes. of course. <laughs> Well, yeah, we know that humans cheat for sure. So explain to me, what is your definition of cheating? Because I'm sure most people are asking right now, how does a blind or brainless cell cheat? Yeah, cheating is basically during the communication part of it. When animals uh, talk to each other, talk is, it, it can be seeing each other, could be hearing each other, <laughs> could be sn uh, sniffing uh, uh, each other. But when animals communicate, there's always um, uh, there is a possibility for one animal to e emit false information. So that is cheating. But also, I actually define cheating in a different way. Uh, cheating actually, there are two kinds that's corresponding to the uh, <laughs> tongue in cheek, the first law and the second law of cheating. Uh, basically, I refer to first law as uh, during the communication, one animal or one organism typically animal, sends out a false information that would benefit uh, to itself while at the cost of the recipient. Uh, so that's the, during the communication, you send out false inf information rather than honest information. The, the, the other one is deception. Deception is very different. Deception is based on taking advantage of another organism's typical animals, another animal's cognitive weakness, cognitive bias, for example. And in humans, we all know that in terms of color, we are more sensitive to red color than to any other color. And that's the reason stop signs, traffic lights, all use red as, um, as stop, which is more important, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, during the Cultural Revolution in China, if you know that one, there was a time because the, the red color is related to communism movement, right? Communist movement. And in China, during the Cultural Revolution, when everybody was crazy, and they actually decided to switch red and green, <laughs> the red as go and green as stop, turned out to be there were more accidents. So they were forced <laughs> to switch back. But also in stock market, for example, uh, when people make money and, 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 and in Hong Kong, for example, red means the market goes up, <laughs> you make money, which is good. The green means the market goes down, <laughs> which means you lose money. So yeah, uh, these, these kind of symbolic, but market may be okay, but when you switch traffic lights, that, that is problematic. So yeah, we all have these biases and weaknesses. So for example, we cannot hear ultrasound. We cannot uh, feel uh, infrared, for example. And these are the areas that we could be easily fooled. Commercials, even uh, based on our preference, for example, uh, uh, the commercials typically use this kind of deception. For example, uh, you go to a local market, you pick up a meat product, it says 95% Fat-free. <laughs> Actually, it is what? It's 5% fat. <laughs> so the, the commercials, <laughs> the, the people in these advertisements try to appeal to the kind of our positive biases so as to promote their product. Pretty much all commercials are like that. And it's legal. And see, now you see the, uh, see, see the difference. Deception is mostly legal while while uh, lying is not. Lying is not because you, <laughs> if something does not work, you say it's working, that is lying and it is liable. Can you, like, I, I'm still fascinated and I'd love to work my way up the chain as it were, um, if you're willing to do that. How do two blind um, cells, like how, how would they emit false information? How does that you mean work? cells. Uh, one, one good example yes. is uh, cheating in cells is cancer cells. Okay. Cells have these so-called pre-programmed death. So when a cell is born, it is already, it's, it's a fate is already determined because the genes control the cell. 
you do the work and you die <laughs> as needed. But cancer cells are not. Cancer cells cheat their death. Uh, they refuse to die. They keep, uh, they actually, uh, there, is, there are mutations that overrun that's pro, uh, programmed, uh, pre-programmed cell death. And so that these cancer cells keep producing, keep replication, and keep surviving without dying. So that is uh, one of the uh, most important case uh, is the HeLa cell, which is nowadays you can find in all major cancer research centers all over the world. Their cell, or the, these cells, uh, are originally from a uh, African American woman who died of cervical. Uh, cervix cancer in 1953, yet her cell, Hela cell, uh, uh, continued to exist. Oh, so they call it immortal cells. So these cells basically, uh, by changing some kind of mechanisms by mutation, they cheat their fate. <laughs>